So this is the Avatar 12 and I'm just going to go around and give you a tour of the exterior of the vehicle. So let's start here from the front. So you have a very nice front view with the lights and all the daytime running lights looking really, really nice with the badging, illuminated badging. I can't open this yet, uh, but there's space in there just like the Tesla has got a what they call the frunk. And overall it looks quite wide some very stylish wiper blade um, housing there and you've got some cameras on the screen there for radar controls and we're moving on to the side you have some really nice tires this one sports some Dunlop tires um, 20, 20 inch tires you can also get a 22 inch uh, version as well it's got some neat, really nice rims and you've got some radar sensors on the side, camera here, camera there, cameras everywhere. And this car is loaded with tech. You enter the car with your phone or a card. Keys are becoming a thing of the past. And then you have some almost traditional mirrors that are heated and blind spot monitoring as well. Very wide uh, mirrors. I like them. You have your windows and on the side we have the charging situation going on here so the car is on charge fast charge and slow charge and overall a very very nice design of this car i like this brake light bar starting from the left coming all the way to the right and the car seats high as well it doesn't seat like a, when you're sitting in it you feel like you're sitting almost in an suv and going on on the side just for you to see the side profile very very nice car i like it and when you're just standing outside the interior looks amazing so you have the front windows almost slightly or lightly tinted but the rear windows are heavily tinted very very nice looking car so i'm sitting in the vehicle now and from the dash just shut the door from the dash this is what you see it's got this smallish smallish flat size steering wheel which is electronically adjusted and you have this very nice crisp 4k screen really really nice and you've got so many functions on the on the screen that you can do all your it's relatively quick it responds relatively quick and if you look at the dash so you have the dash in two layers so you have this first layer here which houses the main screen and then there's another screen for push further back that has all your driving information it's a very thin screen running from left to right and maybe from the camera all the buttons all the functions look small but when you're sitting in your seat you can see them very clearly uh, so yeah if you if, if you if you have bad eyesight and you have your glasses you're gonna see it as well even though I wear glasses but when I take them off I can still read perfectly so it's nice and then the rear view mirror is has a camera as well so it's not just a mirror but it's a it's a real camera and you have a camera here to spot your rear passengers and to read all kinds of sensors you get your hazard lights sos uh interior light buttons in there and there's some nice ambient lighting hiding in there all looking really nice and if you look at this it is a split system so there's a wind there's this um sunroof which is a whole glass but it's divided by this here and this part is split into two so you have a screen just like you have on a tesla and you have your sun visor right here with your vanity mirror looking really really nice all the materials here are alcantara feeling very solid and yeah the dash design is really nice it's kind of this wrap around spacious gives you this spacious feeling i wasn't too sure about the steering wheel because i'm used to round steering wheels but 
uh, upon a test drive it feels really really nice and you don't have to turn too much to to uh, turn the steering and you get some nice air vents coming from here very cool air coming and you get some 50 watt charging here and once you drop the phone here it goes it recesses to stop it from slipping and when you pick up your phone it rises up and you also have two cup holders here and you have your center uh, pocket or whatever you want to call it it's very very deep this shallow part for things that you normally use frequently use items and you have a deep deep pocket here so that's that's really really nice and here you have some quick buttons for opening and closing your windows and then you have your automatic parking you have a 360 camera all operated on this this button so overall a really really nice um, interior I like the color as well soft touch here soft touch there and this sort of material here that feels like soft plastic you have your controls here like a conventional car for your wipers your turn signals and then you have another stock here for gear changes so looking really nice from the front and you have some nice big mirrors looking almost traditional but they give you a very nice view out of the car so to open you just press this twice i would have wished this button was a little bigger but yeah that's what you have for now so let's go on to the back so to get in the back you just pull it frameless windows as well and you have your speaker grills you have your door handle so any part here is a door handle which is really cool and you have your control buttons here for up and rolling down so that's really nice and stepping in the rear seat looks really really clean spacious but if I sit in here as a person with a height of 183 centimeters I feel like my thighs are hanging off a little bit but it's not too bad unlike in many other cars you have some nice airplane style door pockets and you have these sporty almost sporty seats for the front driver and passenger and you have a button here for moving the seat forward and back how cool is that luxury features in this car and then you have the roof which is all glass Alcantara everywhere some nice grab handles some microphone or speaker grills and you can see the design of the seats really really nice and when I sit in it it feels really comfortable unfortunately there is no space in the back so you can look through the back if you're a passenger that is I think something that I would complain about as a passenger you can see the back of the driver or you can see through the rear view mirror but you really can't see through the back and uh, here you have just one type C charging port that illumination you see there and in here you have a very deep pocket for storage as well I think this car should have they should have provided more charging ports but that's all you have for now so overall a very nice interior build you got your air vents coming from the side which is really really nice and if I just shut the door it goes all the way and feels quite spacious with the way the door panels are recessed feels quite nice so yeah that is um, the interior of the and the floor has the floor is almost completely flat so you're not going to be fighting for space if I sit in the middle this is my view you can see really clearly out of the front with how this has been shaped so you have a wider view outside so even if you're a rear passenger and you want to look at the screen yeah you can actually see it from here I'm sitting right in the middle of the um, window seats and I can see the screen so if you're driving or you just stopped somewhere even the rear passengers can have a good view of the screen if you're watching something really nice got this small window here as well for extra lighting so it's a really nice design i like it let's take a look at the boot so 
the boot opens it's got this split brake lighting system one on the side and one on the hood is on the on the boot cover itself and you have a relatively large boot space for such a car which I would say is not class leading but it's definitely a useful for especially for a tall person like me so even if I come here my head doesn't hit so packing things in out will be really really nice and you press to shut it you got cameras all over the car for radar and autonomous driving as well and you've got this rear spoiler here which can be engaged and opened and closed or engaged and disengaged whichever way you want to call it so this is the avatar 12 with the badge in black as well so that's really really nice don't write chinese cars off they've come of age they give you all the luxury you want and a lot of safety features as well there are people out there who are still talking about how bad Chinese cars, how bad the quality of Chinese cars is. But if you live here, you know that people are driving them and nothing is happening to them. You just have to trust it and know that technology is shared these days, so it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The quality will be the same or almost the same as anywhere. And then again, these brands give you all the luxury for a fraction of the price that premium cars will give you so it's your choice to make if you have the money yeah you're going for premium brands but if you don't have the money you can still settle for something that is of high quality and gives you all the features that other brands or legacy brands will make you pay for Alright guys, so thank you for watching. That was a quick view of the Avatar 12 car that is very popular here in China. Thank you so much for watching. I'm truly grateful. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel together. Once again, see you in the next video guys. Ride Liga, ride safe always. Peace and I'm out.